Hey, welcome back! My name is Alex and I'm glad you're here. I hope you're enjoying these videos on how to make platformer and if you do, give me a like and if you don't, please let me know in the comments why so I can make my work better. And let's begin! In this video we need to make character jump and flip and here is my project. First I want to explain how flip will work. Uh, take a look at the character, he's running backwards but if I change rotation on the Y he's gonna flip itself and run to another direction. And this is what we're gonna do, but we need to do it in the code so it works automatically. So here's my code. I'm gonna create private void flip and inside I wanna rotate the character. So I'm gonna write transform.rotate and since we're gonna rotate him on the Y, I'll type 0, 180, 0. Now we need to know when to use this function and somehow we need to know when character is facing right. So I'm just gonna go up here and create boolean facing right. It's gonna be private. Now let's go back to flip function and write facing right equals not facing right. And what it does is a little bit tricky and even confusing, at least it was for me at the beginning. So we have facing right which is true, it will be equals to not facing right which will be false, right? So it always will be an opposite. So it works like a switcher and I hope that makes sense for you. Now let's go to update and we're gonna type if rb.velocity.x more than zero which means player moving to the right and he's not facing right then we're gonna flip him then we're gonna type another else if rb.velocity.x less than zero which means he moving to the left and facing right then we need to flip him again and it doesn't work exactly as we need but it works and there is very easy fix to that what you should know is boolean is by default always false so if you want to make it true by default you need to actually do it you need to write facing right equals true and this is what we need for our character because by default he's looking to the right side so he's facing right and this is what we need and it looks really funny and nice i really like the art from this asset pack when game is completely ready it looks like a cupcake it's just so cool yeah let's go back to update and i want to make character jump so i'm gonna get input of the space key button and then if this button pressed i'm gonna use function jump and it's not created yet but what we can do is select it and just click alt enter as a hotkey it will offer us to generate method this is what we're gonna do and inside of this method i'm gonna just type rb.velocity equals to new vector 2 and we're not gonna change velocity on the x but we need to change velocity on the y and i want to use jump force for that so let's just type jump force and again it's not created yet but we can use the same way to create a field so let's just alt enter generate field and it's gonna be up here now i want to make default value 12 and i want to move it up and there is a very easy way to do that we just hold alt key and press arrow so it moves like that cool now we can see that jump is working but it's kind of floaty and i want to make this jump snappy i would say so let's make right to scale 4 and see how it works cool but I want to be able to change jump force from the inspector as well and it's not visible here because it is private so what I'm gonna do is go to script and I want to keep it private but still I want to be able to see it in the inspector so I'm gonna just type serialize field here at the beginning and I think we should do the same for the speed itself so let's just type serialize field and make it private now it's visible here but we can make it even better above these two lines of code let's just type header open parentheses and in quotation marks i'm gonna type move info and tada he's jumping running and flipping cool now since we're already on the way of this is the way of making stuff pretty and nice and blah blah let's go back to code and clean it up a little bit move this up here Guys, I hope when I'm speeding up the video it's not too fast for you, it's just I value your time and I know that in case you didn't catch something, it's a video, you can just move it backwards a little bit and at the same time, if you're dealing with the pace, it saves your time, you know, that, that's too simple, right? And anyway, I'm gonna leave the link in the description to the source code so you can check it up later. Back to business, in the update I'm gonna type flip control and it's not yet generated function but we're gonna generate it and then let's just cut out this if statement and paste it in here. I'm gonna move it down because we're not gonna change it for a while, delete the empty spaces here and we're done here. Thank you for paying attention, I'll see you in the next video.